My boys have been begging for their favorite meat sauce. I'm gonna share with you the recipe. And really, this is a keto war recipe because I do replace the noodles with the spaghetti squash, very heavy in yummy meats. I feel like this actually really balances out. And actually, I have Stuart here and he's gonna try it out for us. So first we're gonna get our spaghetti squash into the oven because we need it starting to roast and steam so that we have noodles for when the sauce is done. Okay, and now I'm just gonna take out the seeds and then just give it a little bit of salt and pepper and some oil and put it face down on the pan and then stick it in the oven at 425 degrees. Okay, so now at the stove, we're gonna make our sauce. So I start with my sausage first because I like how it renders out a lot of like spicy fat. And then I'll cook my ground beef in that like already potent oil that has so much seasoning from the sausage. And I do a sweet sausage and a spicy Italian sausage because I like both flavors. Here's my spicy Italian sausage. I just smash it flat and then try to like smash it on the bottom of the pan to get it cooking faster and I put the pan at like medium and then I do the same thing with the sweet sausage I just kind of like pack it into the bottom of the pan and as it comes up to heat it just all cooks through and then I chop it all right so the sausage is cooked through and brown so I'm going to move it over to a plate to wait and in the grease that's left, I'm gonna cook the ground beef. Here's our ground beef. So I'm just going to lay it in the hot flavored grease from the sausage and get it browned up fast. I need a meat press. Until then, I'll just keep using my hands. Okay, our ground beef is browned now. So we'll add back in our sausage. And this is also when I'll salt it all together. And now I'm gonna add in the chopped yellow onion and the garlic. I think this was like eight cloves. Then I just toss it all together and let the heat of the meat soften the onion and the garlic. All right, so after the onions have softened in the meat, I'm gonna toss in 10 ounces of white mushroom that have already been pre-chopped for me because it was easier for me today, and 10 ounces of cremini chopped mushrooms. Then once I get them in the pot, I'm just gonna chop them into the meat and onion mixture. All right, everything's getting softened. So now I'm gonna add in tomato paste. So I have two six ounce jars of tomato paste. I do it at this time because I feel like it's easier to spread it throughout the meat mixture. Then I'll add a 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes. And next I'll add a can of San Marzano style tomatoes. And it's a 28 ounce can as well. Now I add the parsley in. I'll also add in dried oregano. I'm gonna just use whatever's left in this container, actually. Okay, so I've returned to our sauce, so it's just been simmering here. And now I just tried it and I'm going to salt it more. So this would be the time when you would salt and pepper it. It has a good spice to it because of the spicy sausage, so I don't add any more heat, but if you didn't use spicy sausage, then I would like a spicier version, so I would probably add chili flakes in that regard. It looks like the spaghetti squash is ready. So after it's cooled a little bit, you can pick it up and use a fork to start just shredding out the internal lines of the squash, which looks like spaghetti noodles. And they're actually really sweet. We've definitely become more accustomed to these. Okay, so it's about time to eat. So we're like in our pajamas. And there's one thing that I forgot to tell you. When I used to make this spaghetti before we started trying to cut out carbs and eliminating sugar, I used to use sugar in it. When we tried to cut out sugar, I stopped trying to put sugar in it, but I felt like it was really missing something that really helped round out the flavors. So then I started using the Element Mango Chili. These are those electrolytes. And so it's got that sweet mango, but it's also got chili pepper in it and it's salt. So I feel like this actually really balances out the sauce really well. I know it sounds weird, but I don't know. I, I like how that mango kind of works in and does the sweetness and the heat. Okay, so I'm just going to pick up some of that noodle from the spaghetti squash. So then I have the meat sauce here and I'm just going to put it on top. And actually I have Stuart here and he's going to try it out for us. And I'm even going to put some basil on it. I just came off the stove, it is hot. Pork? So, I don't know, yeah, it is a little hot. Maybe add a bit more pepper. 
like spiciness? Yeah. And it's not too salty? Y yeah, it's perfect. Okay. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. This is one of our boys' favorite meals, and they request it for me all the time. And this sauce blends into casseroles. Like, you can layer this into a casserole dish, put the sauce on top of it, then put cheese on it and bake it off. It's a great, like, way to, like, mix it up or make it really easy. We use this all the time, and this is one of our go-to things here. Below, we'll link to the blog for the recipe where I write it all down.